Closed captioning. In this part, I am going to cover the necessary steps that you need to take in order to closed caption your videos. Closed captioning is necessary in order for us to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is absolutely necessary if you're going to distribute your content to students in the California State University. I am going to start by showing you how to add closed captioning in Camtasia. And later on, I'm going to show you how to do the same in YouTube. In both systems, you are going to get some help. In the case of Camtasia, we're going to get a set of screens that are specifically made in order for you to do closed captioning. And when it comes to YouTube, there's going to be already an automated way for capturing your voice and then you will add small corrections to that. Very well, for Camtasia, I'm going to bring this window forward. The project that I just opened is the interactive table of contents one and as you can see all the elements are in place. You can see the visual representation of my voice. You can see also a visual tracks with some zoom in behavior and in here we're going to add the captions. Adding captions is fairly easy so I'm going to show you how to achieve that. First, you need to have this part of the window open. Remember that if it's not open, you can bring it back on by clicking this button over here. Within these options over here, you would like to have the one that is called Audio Effects selected. Once that you have that Audio Effects section selected, you're going to find this Captions button over here. And what you need to do is to grab it and drag it to the channels where there's audio. And you will see that they're going to be highlighted by Camtasia. So I'm going to drop it there. And at that moment, the captions track is going to open. This captions track is going to have this little engine icon over here. And you're going to be able to hide it or you're going to have a few different options over here. From here, I have already selected English as my main option and there's some other things that we will tackle later on. Okay, once that this track is open, you can select on any of the areas. Interactive table of contents. In this part I am going to and as you can see automatically Camtasia is gonna play that part of the video and you're gonna be able to listen what you said at that moment. This area that is selected in purple can change if you move the amount of time that you want to specify for each one of your captions. Now regulation says that this captioning has to be there for a sufficient amount of time for it to be read. So normally that goes between four and seven seconds and that would be a good option about how to comply with regulations. So what I'm gonna do right now since this is just the introduction I am gonna select it like that and I'm gonna play it and when I play it I am gonna type what I heard. Interactive table of contents. So I specify here interactive table of contents. Once that I'm done I click on the next part. In this part I am going to show you what is an interactive table of contents and, and then Camtasia is gonna stop. Right now it's stopping at the very end over here so I'm gonna move this inward just a little bit and I am going to play it again so I can type. In this part I am going to show you what is an interactive table of contents. This part comma I am going to show you what is an interactive table of contents and now I can click on the next part. And if you're not using the video that has the interactive table And if you're not using the video that has the interactive table of con contents, it doesn't have to be that precise, by the way, I'm just doing it very precise right now. So I'm going to start typing. And if you're not using the video that has the interactive table of contents, there it goes. So I'm going to give you an example of what it is and what are the benefits. I'm going to extend this over here. I'm going to give you an example of what it is and what are the benefits of using one. The 
This is one of my own projects. This is one of my own projects for my students and I teach them how to download audio from the internet in a legal way or remixing it with open source software. This video has on the left side an and so on. You can continue adding all the captioning for your video and this process of selecting the different areas and you being able to type immediately what it should be stated on the video is going to simplify things considerably. So now you can click back over here to the video channel or the audio channel and that captioning is going to go away and you can review how it's going to appear on your screen by just playing it here. Video that has the interactive Let's rewind. Interactive table of contents. In this part, I am going to show you what is an interactive table of contents. And if you're not using the video that has the interactive table of contents, I'm going to give you an example of what it is and what are the benefits of using one. This is one of my own projects for my students, and I teach them how to download audio from the internet in a legal way. And there it is. It basically the captions stay there now that we have the captions there it might be a good idea to go to these caption settings and one of the things that you can do is manipulate the amount of opacity of the background color now as you can see that is fairly difficult to read so that's why normally it is important to put somewhat of an opaque background that would contrast with the letters so it is easier to read once that you have set that, it will apply for your entire video. Once that you have set all of your captions, remember to save your project so all of your work is kept. Now, when you export this video and you export it directly to YouTube, the captions are not going to move with the video into YouTube. That is only going to happen when you export it as a web page and you have the possibility of offering the video in a regular server. Very well, let's hide this caption track and we could continue here working. I'm going to move Camtasia away from here and now I'm going to bring a tab from my browser in which I show you the exact same video but now it has been uploaded to YouTube and the very first thing that I'm going to do in this case once that it has been uploaded then you can come over here to this button over here that says captions and you can click there the very first thing that is going to happen is that YouTube is going to ask you to select the language that you're speaking in that video so we're going to go here and we're going to select English. Now in my case because I create videos in English and in Spanish I am not going to create these as the default for new uploads. Once that the English has been set I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to have a fairly similar screen than the one that I have in Camtasia. I can click here, I can click on English and from here I can do some transcriptions and I have more or less the same type of behaviors that I have in Camtasia the amount of time that is going to play how much you want to play and then you can transcribe things here interactive table of contents and so on now in this moment I am not going to complete this part because YouTube facilitates things in a considerable way if we instead choose to click on English automatic and what I'm going to find is that YouTube has already transcribed most of what I have said and now basically my job is correcting it there are going to be things here and there that I'm going to have to actually correct in order for it to work well so I'm going to start playing it and I am going to start editing some of the text. So after clicking on the edit button, I'm going to start playing the video.
Interactive table of contents. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to capitalize the I for interactive table of contents and I am going to press that and in here I already know that in this video I think so, I cannot remember. Interactive table of contents. In this part I am going to show you what is In this part I am going to show you what is Interactive table of contents. In this part I am going to show you what is an interactive table of contents. And if you're not using the video that an interactive table an, an interactive table of contents and an interactive table of contents and the interactive table of contents I'm going to give you an example of what it is an interactive table of contents and if you're not using the an interactive and if you're not using content. the video and if you're not using the video that has the interactive table of contents I'm going to give you an example comma interactive table of contents I'm going to give you an example of what it is and what are the benefits of using it this is one of my own projects for my student. What it is? Interactive table of contents. I'm going to give you an example of what it is and what are the benefits of using one. This is one of my own projects for my students, and I teach them how to download and what are the benefits and what are the benefits of using one and what are the benefits of using one. This is one of my own pro and what are the benefits. For my students, my students, and I, my students, and I teach them how to download audio from the internet. My students, and I teach, and them, I teach how to them download my students, and, and I teach them how to download audio from the internet in a legal way, or remixing it with open source software. This video with open source, source software. software. This video has and so on. I can continue working on it, but the main idea is that every time that I click on these elements over here, I am going to listen to that specific part, and if there's something that was not written well or was not captured well, then you can correct it. Once that you are done doing that, you can publish the video, and from that moment on, your video is going to have the option to offer closed captioning for any person that needs it. And these are the two different ways in which you can close caption your videos and therefore comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act.